Howdy, my name is Chris Beck and I'm one of the lead installers here at Wayfarer Vans. And so today I'm gonna to show you how to install one of these insulated partitions. So I can mail this to you or we can do it in shop. So usually the process is the first step you're wanting to do is to remove the rivet. So I'll remove three of them. So we use this very specific tool. It's called a bone tool. You can get it at your local automotive store. It's a uh, take plastic, uh, they're called trees in the biz, but um, these plastic plugs out. So uh, it holds both sides and you can just kind of leverage that guy straight out. Usually they come out in one piece. Sometimes they're ugly. If you don't want to buy this like $8 tool or whatever, you can use a screwdriver. You'll just want, kind of want to work either side of the rivet kind of slowly. You'll hear it popping and so I'll show you this one because the other one got away from me, but it looks like that. So there's ribs to it that, so it compresses and you can use this also to install your partition, which I'll show you in a second. The last way I'll show you you can get out your rivet is with a pair of pliers. And so you can kind of just grab the sides of it, kind of leverage it out, work the other side, get it out. So. Um, if these break, it's no worry. I'll probably sh send spares with you if this is the way you want to attach your partition. All right, installing your partition. So you'll be getting your partition out. The orientation of your partition is you'll have the face of the grommets towards the face of the hardware. So face of the grommets, that's the back of a grommet. That's the face of the grommet. So it's the smoother side. And so that's gonna be on the inside. And the way you know that is because this is where the hook side of the Velcro will be in facing towards the wall. So the easiest way, you get a rivet, or one of these plastic trees, you shove it through and you shove it into your van. And so you do it all the way across. If you're looking for a more permanent solution, since as soon as you take one of these out, the plug loses some of its shape and rigidity. Uh, what we use in shop are rib nuts. And so these rib nuts are 1024 threaded. Yeah. And so the way they operate is they're going to make a threaded insert in the exact same hole. So it's hard to do this. Make faces. And so right here where that crush that's going to be the rib of your van and then it will have a threaded insert so this is what we primarily use it's for the quickest in and out installs it kind of gives you some permanency to your partition so all you're going to do is this is a tool that you can find at harbor freight we'll have a link probably to amazon it below and so you'll just uh, i'm going to send you seven of these with every install kit so you can mess up one and you'll just put in that hole and then it'll just crimp and then you just kind of screw it you th screw, unscrew the threaded insert one more Last one. There's gonna be six total, I already did three. So as soon as you're done rib nutting your inserts, you'll have threaded inserts in each one of those, which brings us to our hardware. So if this gets this uh, tenured, it's a normal, it's a one and a quarter inch bulb headed uh, nut and so or a screw essentially and so you're gonna put a little washer on it first and then they'll hold the, they'll hold the big washer so it just works like that and then uh, same same orientation that you would do with the plugs you want to go on the face side of that um, of this grommet go there and then it's going to sloop over so it's gonna kind of flow into your van you know, block out all the lighting, which is why you bought this partition. And so 
It's now just a threaded insert. So you just kind of screw it in. You can put another one up. And you just work down the holes until you're, it's all the way screwed in. This is where you want, might want to use a drill. Bolt there, folds over, into that hole where you took that wooden plug out of. And you're just gonna screw that clockwise into that threaded rib nut. And it should hold like so. And then you can use a screwdriver, of course, but here we're trying to maximize some efficiencies. And so I'm gonna use this drill. Got all six tight. And then we'll take it to the other side. So it's already looking much darker in here, which was the goal of this partition. And so next we're gonna do the hook side, or do the hooks to the loop side. So um, the hook side is just gonna come on this. I'll give you a couple spares. And so we're really looking for a snug fit on this wall to make sure that no sunlight peeks through. And so what we're gonna do is the best way to do it is just peel this adhesive off the back and then you're going to attach the hook side to the loop side and then you're just going to snug it up where it looks best there you're going to have to do four of these points on two on either side the passenger and driver side Make sure no sunlight is coming through. Really push down, give that e adhesive hook side a chance to really well attach. And make sure that when you do one side, that you keep it hooked for doing the other side so you don't do it where either side of the Velcro can't reach. So um, with the Velcro done, it screwed in all six uh, mounting points where we took these plastic plugs out, these guys. Um, yeah, it's all installed. That's it. all there is to it. Six screws, four pieces of Velcro. And the last thing you need to do to make sure that you're roadworthy is you'll unzip it from the middle. You'll fold it on the size of the bottom. So the, this bottom flap that will wick up any water or anything so it doesn't any moisture that falls in the ball of your van won't seep up your partition and you just roll it on up you're gonna roll it really either way uh, i roll it this way so it stays more behind the seat but other people find different uh either way it doesn't really matter and so you'll just unclip these straps and yeah we'll just go straight into there you can cinch them up tighter. Try to get them out of your head space, but yeah, that's all you need. You need a drill, a rib nut tool, some kind of flat thing that you can fry with, and that's all you need to do an install. So if you have any questions, please let me know, and yeah, enjoy your camping.